It's the final table and the final day of action here at the PokerStars Caribbean Adventure main event. And we are here to look through the final six competitors, all eyeing up one and a half million dollars in prize money. Will Shillabir with Callum Grant. Now, the final six have all locked up over $300,000, but sixth place is not the place that Jamil Wakil will want to go home in. He starts today with eight big blinds. Can you see any comeback for Jamil? Yeah, for sure. We've seen uh, Jamil at a few stops now on the EPT. Um, he's been able to navigate a short stack uh, several times before. And of course, in poker, a chip and a cheer, anything can happen. Now, traditionally, Americans love the PCA. And moving up to fifth in chips, we have Christoph Schick. He'll be a familiar face to those Americans who are watching from afar, regular on the circuit. And what can we expect from him? Well, yeah, he's a regular for sure. He's got over a million dollars in live tournament earnings, uh, a WSOP circuit ring as well. Um, he's been near atop the chip counts for pretty much uh, the, entire, the entire week. Uh, day two, I think he finished 45th in chips. Then by day three, he was, uh, came in in a second or third in chips. And he's just sort of stayed there. He's been steady and been really relaxed. And yeah, he can go a long way in this, despite coming in as one of the shorter stacks on the day. Two Portuguese players make the final table and fourth in chips we have our first in Michel Dutani. Now I didn't know this but he's 11th on the Portuguese all-time money list. He is no slouch. No for sure you know he's been absolutely immense throughout the entire week. He finished day four as the overall chip leader. He had some unlucky moments yesterday but then he rebounded that you know to still have a healthy stack in front of him. You've got to remember we're still really deep here in the final six and Dutani you know he's got seven figures on his hand and locked up his biggest cash. He's going to be there wanting to go all the way. Moving on to the top three, and it couldn't be any closer. The top three players separated by just four big blinds, the shortest of which, if you can call it that, is Arto Martirosian. Now, we're very familiar with his online exploits, and here he is crushing on the live scene. How's his tournament been? Uh, well, he's been in since day 1A, and he must have had one of the hardest table draws here at the PCA. Uh, he was joined by Eric Sodel, Espanyol Stad, you have Mike Rocco on there, uh, Vlad Vladas Tamasukas. You know, it was just uh, the hardest table, I think, that I've seen here at the PCA main event. Um, and he's just been crushing the entire way. Um, you remember Elliot Houdon, who won the WPT World Championships in December, uh, I think on day two it was. Um, they clashed in a huge pot. Uh, Houdon, he flopped trips. Marta Rosian, he went runner-runner to hit a queen high straight and all the chips went in the middle. And from there on out, he's just been one of the players to watch. And it's very close between those and the next two. Move on to Alexandra Raymond, Canadian player, started taking up poker in COVID and has, has flourished ever since. Yeah, so um, from what I understand, uh, he was playing uh, poker uh, when he was in university and he was self admittedly just a small winning player, not enough to support himself. Um, and it was quite funny enough, he was studying risk aversion. So that jumped from amateur to professional, you know, he was obviously studying the right things. So as always with these PokerStars main events, there's some great stories here. And one is Alexander Raymond, of course. Uh, he managed to get his seat for a fraction of the buy-in, uh, being an online qualifier. And well, he had a pretty uh, memorable day five. Uh, he got his chips in the middle early with Ace King against uh, Michelle Datani's uh, Kings. Spikes an ace on the turn to take the chip lead. And you know, he just rode the day out there on out. Um, I think there were some nerves at first, you know, there was some body language which uh, suggested that he was, was more inexperienced than the rest of the, uh, the, the, the competitors, but he's more than held his own for the rest of the afternoon. So the six players have all guaranteed $300,000, but they're all going to be looking at the one and a half million dollar first prize, none more so than the chip leader, Pedro Neves. Now, it's a slender chip lead, we've said that before. Is he really going to push on and use it to his advantage, or do the stack sizes make that a bit difficult? I think for Neves, it doesn't really matter too much. Uh, we've seen him all throughout the week put his chips to good use. He's not afraid to run triple barrel bluffs, as we saw yesterday against what he did against Martirosian with King High. I've seen it myself in London and Prague. You know, this is a guy who is aggressive. He loves to play aggressive poker. And, you know, is he going to be one of the favorites of the day despite probably being lesser known? I think he will be. Now from 889 players, only one can win and lift the trophy at the end of the day. If I had to put you on the spot and you had to pick your man, who's going to win? Uh, my head says Marta Rosian. He's been here before. He's done it before, and we just know how good he is online, and especially in these high, you know, in these high-pressure spots. But my heart, I think, it has to go to Alexander Raymond. That fold he did yesterday with a queen's fall after uh, Neves rivered king's fall. You know, some people would use up their entire time banks. He didn't even use up one. It was 10 seconds, and boom, ace queen into the muck on a full house board. Amazing, amazing. So yeah, for that, I think he. You know, and as a qualifier, it's a great story. Let him go the distance. That's definitely a hand to watch if you need to check the poker news updates or check the poker stars live stream i highly recommend it that's all from us now you can catch the live stream you can catch the updates right on poker news as we crown a winner here at the bahama